All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be finally expanding and upgrading my trailer. I bought this trailer about three years ago. It's worked great, but it's a little too small for what I need it for now. It, right now, within the ra rails, it sits uh, between five feet and eight feet. As you can see here, the frame is bent. Whoever, I did not do this, whoever owned this trailer before me overloaded this thing and uh, it damaged the frame. Luckily, nothing too bad that I can't fix, but it is something that I need to fix. So the first thing I gotta do before I do anything else is take off all the wood. The only wood that I'm going to be reusing is the side rails that you see me taking off here and then the floorboards. The floorboards are actually relatively brand new. They're about two years old now. Uh, pr practically the same uh, age that I got the trailer. And uh, they're in good condition, but as you can see here, I used self-tapping screws to bolt this thing down when I first got it. And uh, that was a horrible, horrible decision on my part. I thought it was a good idea because it was fast and easy and I, I could take off the boards if I wanted to. But uh, yeah, time and rust did not agree with me there. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be reusing this. So I'm going to be putting this away until after. And you might be asking why are, why are they black and why are they chippy? Uh, I painted them. I did not prep it properly, so that was all my bad. But so now that I got the wood out, you could see how bad the trailer frame is. Uh, and it was pretty bad. Luckily, the main tongue, that uh, two inch by two inch tubing that you see there that connects to the actual truck, was not bent. Uh, it, was, it was pretty meaty, so it would take a lot of uh, weight to, to, to bend that. So yeah, got to take off the trailer gate for now. I will be expanding that later, but for now, I'm taking off all the weight so I can start cutting the rails. Uh, there was a lot of cutting in this video. I think I went through about 10 to 15 cutting wheels just uh, in cutting pieces. Uh, I will be reusing a lot of this metal that you see me taking off here uh, just to kind of save a buck and, you know, not have to... Uh, cut it and send it to scrap metal but uh, as you can see here this is how I fix the trailer a lot of massaging a lot of use of this chain and that main tube with my hydraulic jack and that main tube you see there that I'm using to fix the trailer I will be installing on the trailer later that was actually the stand that came with my tube bender when I bought it uh, I don't know if I've said this before but uh, yeah this tube is the same uh, measurements the same thickness as the as the tongue on the trailer so I will be cutting off the excess and reusing it as you can see here and I just use another piece of uh, a square tubing to fit between the two pieces to kind of add a little bit more strength a lot of more contact points and then I just beveled the edges and just welded 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 uh, made sure everything was straight each process and then added started adding these uh, corner pieces uh, the dead space between the trailer and the wheel was actually a perfect fit for a 2x4. So all I did was weld tabs and then put a 2x4 in. Apart from that, as you can see here, it's pretty self-explanatory. I just measured uh, how far the trailer was from the outermost part of the wheel well and just added uh, square tubing. Uh, everything's tacked, welded for now. And then I started adding the wood to make sure that it fits and everything was three, f <laughs> all the wood uh, between uh, in the front and the back of the of the wheel was three feet so that was perfect I did end up adding 10 inches in length on the back just so I could make it an even three feet forward three feet back from the axle well three feet and a couple of change so you see that board in front that's why I added it in, in the front <laughs> mainly to add more uh, strength in the back with the long boards but uh, so the way I I added one more foot to this trailer lengthwise was actually welding the front rail at an angle. This is going to do a couple of things. One, this is going to allow me to kind of drive up on that angle with uh, longer buggies if I ever want to drive a longer buggy on this or ne ever need to transport something. And another thing too was when I load up an ATV or something uh, when I'm taking it out on the back of the truck itself, I always had to load it up, put it on the trailer, and then when I got to my other location, take off the trailer, load it down, and then put back the trailer. It was a lot of work. So uh, I just fixed that by making the front uh, here at an angle, as you can see, with some great metal. That way all the dirt could fall and you know I don't have to worry about dirt accumulating on the trailer. But apart from that, the next thing was just expanding the trailer gate, and that was really easy. 
it was just adding the angle metal the same width as the trailer and then adding the grate welding it everything together uh, welding the handles back onto them uh, the trailer and then later on i will be adding a winch and uh this winch kind of limiter i don't know what it's called but uh, I did have this old winch, which still works. It's an electric one, but I don't have a lot of confidence in it. I would rather have the handheld one. Next thing I got to do is uh, since I expanded the trailer all the way up into the wheel wells, the lights have to be replaced. And I replaced the lights on the trailer gate, mainly because when I drive, the trailer gate's always up. So I didn't want anything to extrude past the trailer especially the lights you know i could hit something and then break bust the bust the light um so i didn't want to do that and then once i got everything welded i'm going to be using this uh black paint that i got from home depot it's the same stuff they sell in a spray can didn't decide to use spray can method because quite frankly it wastes a lot of paint that way and it doesn't come out as thick this is the first time i've ever used a brush on black paint for metal and i could say that i'm going to be doing this way more often than i'm going to be spray painting stuff because it just comes out more thicker it coats it better no rust no surface rust comes out over time i just i loved it um but after i got all that painted I just got to finish the front grate, finish the wiring for the uh, back lights, and then touch up all the small spots that I inevitably miss. I always miss some spots, so I just go over and fix that. But once it's all done, this is how it looks. This is the buggy on the back of the trailer. Theoretically, it will fit, and uh, hopefully I don't have any issues. And this is how I'm going to be placing it when I do have everything on there, just so all the weight's kind of evenly distributed. So if you're watching this because you want to expand your own trailer, I uh, highly recommend it because now you could do a lot more things than you did before. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. And it wasn't until this part of the video that I realized that the trailer jack handle does not rotate 360 degrees. So got to fix that.